So, for those of you that watched the last live that I put out with Alolan Sand Slash in the thumbnail, not only did I catch you with a click with a clickbaity title, I also punished you guys for clicking that video by not putting any music in. Am I not just the nicest person? <laughs> Yo, I completely, completely forgot to add a track to that live. I was in such a rush to get it out that I was just like, alright, render. And then I watched it back and I was like, oh no, I didn't do that. It was after it was uploaded too. But anyway, getting to this live, uh, we've got something a little bit different, a new tier for you guys today. I'm going to stop rubbing my hands because this is probably getting, anno getting annoying. But uh, today we have a, uh, a metagame of the month, uh, which I haven't done in a long time because we haven't had one because of the new generation and everything. Uh, it's called Pokeabilities and it's really, really gross <laughs> uh, like what certain things can do. Basically, you see the team. It looks like a pretty standard OU team, maybe minus the Yan Mega, but Yan Mega is actually the biggest threat in, on this team. I'll explain the rules of the uh, of the metagame. Basically, every Pokemon gets every ability that it has access to. <laughs> that means that Yan Mega has Tinted Lens and Speed Boost. Excadrill has Molt Breaker, Sand Rush, and Sand Force. Hippowdon has Sand Stream and Sand Force. Uh, Starmie has uh, Natural Cure and Analytic. Magnezone is probably the best one. It has Sturdy Analytic and Magnet Pull. It's, it's incredible. Uh, and Mega Pinsir. Well, before it Mega Evolves, it actually gets Hyper Cutter and I believe Moxie. Uh, so it can raise its attack by getting a Moxie kill and it can't get its attack lowered, which is amazing. Uh, but I just like Mega Pinsir in general because I thought that a lot of people wouldn't have uh, good checks to it in general. But uh, let's try to get a game. It's gonna take a while because let me just show you guys. Uh, never mind. <laughs> um, but there's like four battles going on, and I'm one of them right now. So I'm probably gonna have to pause between battles. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to get games. Uh, Cortana and Top Lele, both of their abilities. Uh, well, I mean, this only gets a beast boost, and this uh, telepathy doesn't matter. A Toxapex can be a little annoying because of um, the ability that makes you crit all the time. I can't remember what it's called right now. Uh, Chinchino, also a little bit annoying. Skill Link and uh, Technician, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Conkelder is crazy, and so is Azumarill. Azumarill just like, it's it's disgusting. It resists grass. It's immune to grass. Uh, four times resists fire and ice, and it still has huge power, so it's it's pretty insane. But uh, we got a pretty good team to handle him, actually. I have a Magnezone with Sturdy, uh, but I'm not going to lead with it. I'm going to lead with Starmie, because I feel like Starmie has a better matchup. He's going to lead off with his Chinchino, which is probably going to destroy me. Um, <laughs> with a bullet seed right now. Not anything I really want to switch into though, so I think I'm just gonna go for the hydro pump. Uh, he's gonna go for the knockoff actually. Is he choice banded? I don't know if that would have killed me otherwise. Um, I feel like that's banded. So what I'm gonna want to do is actually go into my hippo and I'm gonna get up stealth rocks. Now he may just knock off again and he'll get rid of my smooth rock, which is what we're carrying for Excadrill. Uh, but Excadrill just sweeps him. Everything on his team is grounded and I have sand force. Uh, and uh, Sand Rush, so that's really, really good. Uh, right here, I think I'm just going to go for an Earthquake. Uh, it's perfectly safe. He goes out into a Zoom roll, that's fine. I'm just going to hit this thing with a <laughs> Sand Force Earthquake. His Citrus Berry is going to pop, uh, and I'm going to go for another Earthquake right here. He's going to go for the Waterfall. It's not going to take us out, and he doesn't get the flinch, so his Zoom roll is gone, which is really good. I'm going to conserve my Hempowdon because I don't want to lose it right here, uh, needlessly, and I think I'm going to go out into Pinsir here. Uh, because he's not gonna click Rock Blast, and I think he's banded. So let's see what he does. He goes for the Tail Slap. Okay, so that's still gonna kill because of the uh, the Technician boost. Uh, but now, now I get to go out into my Excadrill, and my Sand is still up for four turns for right now. So I'm just gonna fire off an Earthquake. Uh, it's gonna kill anything, really. Uh, every anything and everything is gonna die. Conkelder should die to this, like straight up. Uh, or almost. Uh, that does a lot more than usual. He's uh, Flame Orb. I kind of don't want to play around with the potential of him having Mach Punch, so I'm actually going to switch out into my Ant Mega here. Uh, let's see what he does. He does go for the Mach Punch. That's fantastic. And that means that Yan Mega will be picking up a kill right here. Uh, and actually, I'm just going to protect. Uh, as he is actually going to switch out into his Toxapex. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for a Bug Buzz, because it's essentially super effective thanks to Tinted Lens. As you can see, it does 49%. Uh, and he's going to go for a Toxic, which is fine by me. I'm just going to go for another Bug Buzz. He may have Protect, but uh, nope, he, his Toxapex just dies. Amazing. Uh, his Conk might die to, rock, uh, to Rocks. I don't know exactly how much it's at. We're a very fast Yan Mega right now. We can kill his, um, his Kartana. 
Uh, I can Giga Drain on anything as well. He's gonna go out into Tapu Lele. I don't know how well it's gonna take a Bug Buzz, realistically. And uh, I still have Sturdy. So he's gonna go out into Conk. It's not gonna die. Uh, I'm gonna take a little more Life Orb and Toxic, but I'm still alive. So this is good. He basically has to sack another Mon right here. He doesn't have a choice. And as soon as I get my Sand back up, Exhydrill comes in, sweeps the game with Earthquake. So I uh, just gotta make sure that Kartana's weakened a little bit, which he's going to allow me to do right here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Bug Buzz, and it might kill. It does just straight up kill. Amazing. And now we go out into Hippo, we let it die to whatever he does, and then we just go into our Excadrill, and we win. Uh, he's going to take Rocks and Sand on the following turn. We're going to go for Earthquake, and actually I'm going to show off Magnezone, show you the fact that it doesn't die. He might just go for like a Scarf Focus Blast. Hidden Power Fire, that makes sense. And we're going to go into uh, Mag. We're just going to go for a, a Volt Switch. His Hidden Power Fire is going to do a lot, but it's clearly not Specs. Uh, and my <laughs> Volt Switch, thanks to Analytic, uh, is just going to straight up kill. We're going to go out into Excadrill, and uh, we're going to finish this game off with a nice Earthquake, which is the way we're probably going to be finishing most of these games, so... In comes Chinchino. This thing is straight dead to an Earthquake. I can kill, like, three Chinchinos <laughs> with this. Goodbye. Uh, yep. And uh, let's move on to the next game. Like I said, guys, I'll just check to see how many games there actually are at the moment. There are only four still, so I will just pause it, and we will be right back. Alright guys, we got one, and uh, Ursaring is actually a huge threat because it gets Quick Feet and uh, Facade with, um, you know what I'm talking about, uh, <laughs> Flame Orb, it gets Quick Feet and it gets Guts, so it's really threatening. Um, poison Heal, Technician, Breloom, that's a little bit annoying. Alright, well he gets up Sand for me, which is awesome. Uh, all I gotta do is make sure that I kill the lead. How do I do that? Well, I'm gonna lead off with Magnezone. As he's going to lead out with his Hippowdon. Not the gr not the greatest start for me. Uh, I'm going to probably go hard into my own Hippo here. And I have two spinners on this team. Because I want to make sure that Pinsir and Yen Mega don't take any damage when they come in. Because one is Life Orb and the other one takes 50%. Well, both of them take 50% uh, from Stealth Rock. So I, I have two spinners on here for that reason. But I'm not staying in with my Mag. Not against a Hippo. Uh, he'll bring me down to Sturdy. Uh, he won't kill me, but I don't want to uh, risk take like risk my Magnezone sturdy this early in the game when it's so valuable later, uh, especially against threats like Ursaring, like Porygon Z, which is amazing uh, in here. And uh, we'll just go for our own rocks here. He's going to go for Earthquake. It's going to do a little amount. Uh, nothing I'm too worried about. And then we are going to slack off the damage. Hopefully he's a little bit faster than me, and that's not a speed tie. I don't see why he would be faster, but... Uh, he might want to bring in his Gyarados here, which is Intimidate plus Moxie, uh, in case you were wondering. In comes Breloom, Toxic, Orb, of course. Uh, I figured as much. Uh, Effect Spore, Poison Heal, Technician. This is just, this is bad times. Um, I think I just go for a Stone Edge here. Uh, he's going to go for a Spore. That's fine by me. He's probably going to go for a Grass-type move here. Uh, really wish I didn't have these rocks up on my side. I think I have to sacrifice Magnezone Sturdy now. That's really annoying. I could go into Pinsir, but I don't want it to take needless damage. Um, I'm just going to go for another Stone Edge. He's going to go for Bullet Seed. If he gets 5 hits, he'll knock me out, but if he doesn't, we're fine. Uh, it's going to end at 3. That's good. Alright, cool. Uh, and Sand is gone. Uh, again, I don't want to switch in Starmie. Oh, uh, this is tough. I can't let this thing go down. Like, Exodrill puts in way too much work against this team. Then again, he has a Breloom. He has Intimidate. Huh. He has a Hippo as well. So maybe I just let this go down and let Excadrill do the work that it can without the Sand up. Yeah, I think I just go for Stone Edge here. He's going to go for a Rock Tomb. Do we wake up? Uh, we do not. We are going to stay asleep. And I'm going to keep going for Stone Edge. He's going to go for Bullet Seed. That's fine. Uh, now I'm going to go out into my Starmie uh, on this turn. We do have the Expert Belted Psychic, uh, which should be able to knock this thing out. We have Thunderbolt for Gera if he wants to like switch that in and then Mega Evolve, thinking that I can that I'm gonna go for another uh, Psychic. Uh, nothing really wants to switch in on a Psychic uh, on his team. He's gonna go into Gera. This is gonna take a ton uh, from E Belt, well Analytic uh, mainly. He has leftovers though, so I don't even have to worry about him Mega Evolving. I could just go for another Psychic and knock out his Gyarados, which is fantastic. He has a big problem against this Starmie actually. Plus I can spin. Uh, that's why I'm in with this thing mainly is to be able to get rid of these rocks, get Yan Mega in, and start sweeping. Uh, he's going to go out into Porygon, though. Uh, I am just going to go for the spin, though. Uh, I'm not messing around here. He, he gets the attack boost, so I'm not too worried about it. He does have analytic, as, uh, not analytic, uh, adaptability as well. Goes for the Z conversion. Uh, that's a little bit scary, but I, this is why I kept my Sturdy. 
Uh, he's gonna turn into a ghost type. Ew. Okay. Um, his speed is only up by one. If he's not max speed, if he's modest, then I should be able to handle him. Um, let's go for the Hydra. I have no need for Starmie anymore. He does have Thunderbolt on his set. Um, I mean, this is Specs Analytic Thunderbolt. Is that going to be able to kill? Either way, it puts him in quick attack range, right? So, I think we go into Mag now, and we just go for a Thunderbolt. Because if he switches out into Hippo, I'm fine. I don't care about that. That's alright with me. Uh, he's going to go for the Shadow Ball. That'll knock us down to Sturdy, but this should put him in range of quick attack, no problem. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. And let's go for another T-Bolt. He is going to knock us out with Shadow Ball. Well, now we'll go into Pinsir, and uh, we will click the quick attack button. He has no reason to keep this. Uh, I think his play after is to go to Hippo. Uh, that's another reason I sacked Hippo, guys, is because he has sand for me. He sets up sand uh, as a result of having a hip out on. So um, if he goes into it here, I think... Uh, he actually goes into Earth Ring, okay. Does this thing outspeed me after... I don't think this outspeeds me even with the quick feet, because quick feet is 1.5 times. I always think it's 2, but it's not. Uh, 229 times 1.5. 343, so he would have to be absolute max speed to outspeed me. Uh, and he's not outspeeding yet, Mega after Protect. So there's that. Uh, I think I just go for the return here. He goes for Protect, that's fine. I could have gone for Swords Dance, but I wasn't going to risk anything. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is Pincer's way more valuable to me than Excadrill. So I'm going to sack off Drill. Uh, like I said before, Drill doesn't kill Conk, uh, it doesn't kill Breloom with anything. He's going to go for Facade, it's going to do a lot of damage, clearly. But uh, he's going to take some burn. I'm going to go for EQ. He's going to outspeed me, obviously, because of a quick feat. Uh, but now I get to go out into Yan Mega. We get to go for Protect. And then we'll hit this thing pretty hard. Uh, if his Hippo doesn't have a rock move, he might actually just lose to Pinsir. Straight up. I'm going to go for the Protect right here. He's going to go for Facade. That's fine. Uh, and I think I'm just going to go for Bug Buzz. I don't know if it kills, because we only have 364 special attack. Uh, we'll go for it anyway. It does kill. Wow. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised <laughs> that that killed. I have Giga Drain for the um, Hippo and Air Slash for the other two. And if he lets his Hippo take damage, then I should be good to win. Um, even with two Mach Punches, I should be able to live both because I quad resist them, right? So let's go for Giga Drain here. It should 2-hit KO, as it does, as you can see. Uh, that'll put us back up to where we were. He does go for the Stone Edge, but now he's in range of Return. Uh, at least he should be, even with the nerf. And uh, then we just kill Breloom and Conk with Return as well. Uh, and if, like, we know the Breloom's not Focus Sash, but even if the Conk was Focus Sash, we did get up our rocks, so we're good to go. Return should easily kill from here. It's so powerful. <laughs> Pinsir's ridicu ridiculously strong. We get a crit, that does definitely doesn't matter. Uh, and we already know his Breloom's not Scarfed or anything, so we can just go for a Return safely. Uh, Mach Punch is going to do, like, five. So, <laughs> let's go for the Return, and that is a dead Breloom. So... Let's move on to the next game. Uh, am I ever going to get to show you guys how many games there are? Uh, now there's two. So this is going to be a very long pause. Not for you guys, but for me. We'll be right back. All right, guys. And we got one. And uh, interesting. Zerkatry, um, Goose Lord, and uh, this thing. This long neck thing. Uh, Crobat I actually considered using because it gets Infiltrator and uh, its other ability, which escapes me right now. Uh, it's also a very good ability, and I can't uh, inner focus, I believe. Uh, so that's pretty good for flinching, I guess. But uh, his team not loses to Pinsir. It loses to Excadrill, like straight up. As soon as I weaken the Alolan Executor, I think I just win with Excadrill. Um, so let's go and off and lead with... Uh, I think Hippo's a fine lead, always. As he leads off with his Alolan Muck, that's perfect for me. I can always Earthquake this thing, but I think getting up rocks is a little more uh, priority. He actually goes for a Z move. Uh, acid downpour that did that did nothing wow what was that coming off of <laughs> what the heck what move did he click i'm going for earthquake <laughs> that that's supposed to be way stronger right uh we're gonna get off a huge earthquake and just knock out his muck which is fantastic uh, i'm like 200th on the ladder i swear uh he's gonna go on into pz which is very scary uh, but i'm just gonna go for eq if he tries to z convert then whatever that's fine Goes for conversion 2 and turns into a grass type. And I still do 38% to him. What? Uh, I'm going for another earthquake. He's going to go for zap cannon. Okay, this guy clearly doesn't know what he's doing. Um, I, I kind of feel bad. But I'm going to go for the slack off here because um, the, uh, the sand will take him out. So there we go. There goes that thing. And I think Hippo is going to 1v1 his team. 
so sad. Uh, this is a Sand Force Earthquake. Let's see how much it does to Goose Lord. 48%. That has a lot of spadef, by the way. Stomping Tantrum. Okay. I'm going to go for another Earthquake. Like I said, I'm going to 1v1 him with a Hippo. That's <laughs> that's what's happening right now, guys. It's a, probably a very boring game for you to watch, and I'm very sorry. I'm just going to go for the Stone Edge here. See what he's got. Shadow Ball on Crobat. Seems legit. Let's knock that thing out. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> wow. Uh, in comes Executor. I'm going straight into Pincer. Watch him knock out my Pincer with something. I would not be surprised. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. By the way, Pincer also gets Mold Breaker. Just fun fact. Uh, <laughs> Hypercutter, Moxie, and Mold Breaker. So, with Earthquake, it's actually pretty good. Like, it can kill Rotom if it wants to. Uh, let's go for the return. That should easily take out Executor. And if he doesn't have uh, Scarf on his Zerkatru, which I don't expect him to because he has a very strange team, uh, then we're going to knock him out with an Earthquake. So, there goes that. 6-0. Beautiful. 12-30. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, he's he just started. So, uh, I mean, I'm not going to bag on the guy either, you know. Rag bag. Anyway. Um, full starters team. Interesting. Um, he's got two grass types, two water types, two fire types. At least he balanced it, you know? They're actually big threats. Like, his... It's probably Charizard Y. Spinner Blastoise. Like, this team makes sense, uh, in theory. You know, because he can have, like, Unburdened Sceptile, which is actually pretty annoying to this team. Uh, to say the least. I think he doesn't have lightning rod. Because he's not me he's definitely not Mega Sceptile. I can't see that. So I'm gonna lead off with Mag. He's gonna lead off with Serp, that's fine. Uh, if he wants to hit me, that's cool. I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch. He should move first, in theory, which means even if he goes for a sub, I'm fine. He goes for an outrage though. Alright, so here we go. Another one of these. Um <laughs> just gonna go hard into Yan Mega. I'm going to he's leftovers as well. I'm gonna go for protect. And then we're going to go for a Bug Buzz. Nothing on his team wants to switch into a Bug Buzz at all. It's basically super effective on Primarina. Uh, it's uh, like four times effective on his uh, Charizard. So just going to go for the Bug Buzz. Easily knock out this Superior. Beautiful. And uh, I think that's how it works. I think it doubles the damage if it's resisted. So I'm going to go for another Bug Buzz just to test it out here. And nope, nope, never mind. Uh, it didn't do as much as I wanted it to. Fire Blast is going to knock us out. I uh, wonder why. Uh, okay. Anyway, um... He does stay in regular, so that tells me he might not actually be Mega Charizard. Huh. Well, let's go into Pinsir because we do outspeed this, and I'm going to go straight for the return. Um, if he stays in regular, then he's dead. If he turns out to be X, then he got me, but good job, you know. Um, this should die easily. Goodbye. Uh, and... Magnezone Sturdy is broken, but it's still faster than Primarina. I don't want to switch it in on Primarina. Do I? Mm, yeah, let's go. Whatever. It's fine. He's going to go for the uh, Shadow Ball. So everybody's running Shadow Ball on on just about anything. You've got a Crobat, Primarina, you know, everything. Uh, let's go for Volt Switch as he's going to go out into Sceptile. That's fine. This is going to take a huge hit. And uh, we are going to go straight out into Pinsir. And we're going to go for Quick Attack. I don't even know why I hesitated on that. I was like, is there anything else that can take this thing out? I get another crit. That's unfortunate. Uh, in comes Blastoise, actually. Uh, let's play for, like, no burn on a Skull. Let's go for Swords Dance. He's going to go for Hydro Pump. That wouldn't have taken us out anyway, unless he's, like, Specs. Uh, we're going to go for a Return. Easily take him out. Should be able to easily take out the rest of his team, honestly. We're still only at 18 minutes, so I'm going to get one more, guys, because those last two games were, like, realistically not that great. Um, okay, so... Oh, okay, now we got... Oh, oh, ditto, oh... Oh, this team. Oof. This is going to be tough to deal with. Have fun, man. Um, I don't know how I can have fun against this team. He's got a really solid team, honestly, for this. Like, look at this. Greninja, all its abilities. Uh, Buzzwall doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Ditto doesn't matter. Uh, Titar doesn't matter. But, like, just Drill and, um, and Greninja is hard enough to deal with, you know? All right. Well, let's lead off with Hippo, of course. Uh, <laughs> should have seen that one coming. Um, can this thing knock me out? I don't think it can. Still, though. I'm going to go for EQ. He's going to go for Surf. Straight knocks me out. Now he's going to go Battle Bond. Yep. Uh, he should also be Protean, but he didn't change type. That's interesting. All right. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to Driller. I want to test the waters to see just how good he is. I'm going to go for Earthquake. He should go into Buzzwool. Okay, he does. Good. All right, so he's good. Uh, we're going to go out into Yanmega, which should be able to take any hit from this. Any one of its stabs. He's going to... Okay, he's going to go for Toxic. Um, that's kind of concerning. I'm going to go for a Bug Buzz here. As he goes out into Titar, which is not going to take this well at all. It takes 47%, actually. But I do want to keep this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out into Magnezone. Now, I might let it sturdy get broken, but I figured he would go for rocks. Okay, good. Um, I don't want to go for Volt Switch. I want to go for Flash Cannon. But at the same time, if he brings in his Ditto... As I go for Flash Cannon, I'm screwed. So I'm going to go for Volt. Uh, he stays in. He takes it quite well. And I'm going to go into Driller. As... What does he do? He's going to go for a Crunch. Okay, that's why I didn't want to bring in Starmie. And I'd rather bring in Driller. Uh, I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin here. As he's going to go out into Buzzwall, which is fine. We're going to get rid of the Rocks. And uh, he went for Toxic last time. I'm assuming he's going to go for a Fighting Move this time. So I'm actually just going to go in, out into Starmie on this on this one. Let's see what he does. Goes for a Roost. Okay, this is fine because I can just throw out a Psychic. Uh, this thing should die to a Psychic. But his Excadrill... His Titar might come in. I'm going to go for Psychic anyway. Uh, he, okay, he brings in Greninja. I wanted to go for T-Bolt really badly, guys. Like, I, I hovered over it, uh, over it. I don't know if you noticed, but... <sighs> oh, well. All right. Well, I'm going to go for T-Bolt now. He's going to go for Dark Pulse. That's easily going to knock us out. I think he's Specs. I actually think he's Specs. Um, oh, man. Why does Yen Mega have to be toxic? Good news is he gets up the sand for me, but as long as that Buzz rolls around, that's really annoying. All right, let's go to Mag. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fire off a... I really want to catch this... Hmm. I think just going for Volt is safe, though. Like, I, I'm hesitating way too much on plays that I know to, to make. And, like, now he's going to go for Rock Slide. I should go into Excadrill, in theory. He has no reason not to Rock Slide. Alright, let's go into Yanmega. Let's see what he does. Life Orb. There's the Earthquake. Okay, good. So we call that one right, at least. Um, what does he switch in on this, actually? Let's let's go into Drill, because he's not going for Earthquake, right? He's going to go for Iron Head. Okay, good. That did a lot. Wow. Um, yeah, it's Life Orb. Of course, it did a lot. Is he Jolly, though, is the question. And do I double here is the other question. Yeah, I'm going to double in a Pinsir on his Buzzwool. So he just keeps making the same plays over and over again. And I'm going to go for a Swords Dance on this turn. Uh, then I'm going to knock out his T-Tar on the following turn. He actually decides to stay in on my Swords Dance. Wow. Goes for Toxic, so his Buzzwool would have gotten destroyed. Uh, I'm just going to go for a return right here. No reason not to. And knocks out everything on his team. I think he even knocks out Excadrill from this range. Uh, Buzzwool is going straight down. So he no longer has a check to my Excadrill anymore. The problem is he has a Ditto. <laughs> and here it is. <laughs> And, but he has to click Quick Attack, so I'm going to go into Mag. He has to click Quick Attack. There it is. And he still has his Excadrill alive, so I'm going to go for HP Fire. Predicting the Drill. Um, there's no way he clicks Quick Attack again and loses his Ditto. It's way too good against me. He could be Scarf Grin. He's going to go out into Drill. Nice. Going to get off this Hidden Power Fire. Knocking it clean out thanks to Analytic. Choice Specs Analytic. Gone. Um, alright, so what do we do now against this thing? He's gonna go for Surf. Knowing that, I think I need my Yan Mega to come in and outspeed this, right? Right. Okay. I'm gonna keep Drill because he has to go into T-Tar at some point. Alright, so I go for HP Fire here. He's gonna knock me out with a Surf because it's Specs. Because I, I know it's Specs at this point. I'm gonna go out in the Animega, gonna click Protect. If he stays in, he's giving me recovery after. Because I go for Giga Drain and I knock him out. I'm pretty sure. Fairly sure that I knock him out after. 
Um, if he goes into Ditto, that's a bad play because I get the speed boost. Um, and I don't think he does because he comes in. And then I'm just, like, beating him, basically. He goes out into Titar, sets up the sand for me. Beautiful. Okay, so now I don't even have to hesitate. I'm just clicking Giga Drain. I'm getting back my health. Uh, his Titar lives, actually, surprisingly, uh, as he goes for a crunch. Uh, but now it's going to be the Excadrill show. Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, we click Earthquake. Knock out his Titar. He goes into Ditto. He has to click Earthquake. I click uh, Return on that turn. Uh, he actually goes out into Greninja. Oh, he has Water Shuriken. <laughs> right. So that's going to clean knock me out. Uh, let's go into Pinsir. We lose this one. We lose this one 100%. Goes for another Water Shuriken. That's not going to knock me out, though, is it? Uh, almost. <laughs> almost knocks me out. Um, we don't have leftovers or anything, so we're just going to die to <laughs> Toxic plus Sand. So that was unfortunate, but we're going to get one more. That was a good game. Um, yeah, we'll make it a longer live. Who cares? Just looking at my face cam, making sure everything's okay with the light. I really need to get a, some artificial lighting in here, man. That would make this so much better. And hopefully there's music in the back now, guys, and that I didn't forget. That would be uh, splendid. But we're going to see if we can get one more game. And I'm going to have to pause it again, obviously. Yep. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So we got one. And uh, my opponent has a very interesting team, to say the least. Um, I'm leading Magna Zone this game because I have a feeling that Ninetales is going to lead. As he actually chooses to lead with his Chinchino. Okay. Uh, I should be able to take any hit from this thing and just go for a Volt Switch as he goes for Wake Up Slap. Uh, which only hits once, so that's fine. We're going to knock out his Chinchino. That was an interesting move to run. I think it's base 40 fighting, so it gets, it gets the uh, Technician boost, which is cool. I did break my Sturdy on Mag, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, I'm going to now go out into... Starmie seems like it handles the majority of his team quite well, minus Snorlax. Everything else I can pretty much deal big damage to, so... Starmie's nice. Plus, I don't really need to spin this game. His rocker is non-existent. Uh, Aurora Veil might be a little bit scary, especially with, like, like let's say it's Scarfed uh, Guts Terracross for some reason. He goes into Snorlax, though. Hmm. What are you going to do? I'm going to Hippo. This thing starts setting up curses. I could be in a bad spot. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I'm going to prioritize getting up rocks still. Uh, because his only attacking move should be, uh, like, uh, return, in theory, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go, now go out into Magnezone, as he's going to go for a Body Slam. That is not going to kill me. It's going to leave me with 1%. I am at how much health right now? I am at 2. 2%. I'm going to go for my strongest move, being Thunderbolt. He does not have an immunity on his team, so I don't need to worry about it. It is Specs Thunderbolt, so it's still going to deal quite a bit of damage. And uh, then I can probably revenge this with uh, Excadrill after going for a Swords Dance. That was, that was uh, 42. Very nice. And now we are going to go out into Excadrill right here. We're going to go for a Swords Dance. And he should die after I SD up. Because we'll be at even footing in terms of attack and defense. And I'm Sand Force Earthquake. So I should be fine. He goes for Rest. Okay. So he lets me get up another SD, which is fantastic. Uh, we still have quite a few turns of sand left. And uh, Rock Slide should kill Heracross now. Uh, it's Toxic Orb. Let's go for the Rock Slide. Should kill. It does. Beautiful. That thing's dead. And I think I sweep the rest of his team. Yep. There we go. Perfect. So we get a forfeit win on the last one. Not too bad. We only got one loss. I'm at 1246. Where does that put me? Uh, let's find out. As insignificant of a ladder as this is, I still want to know... 1246 is right here. It's 144. So not too bad. I mean, we're, we're getting there. Where's uh, where's our good buddy Redithan? Is he up here? No. Uh, is anybody we know up here? Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Quick check, quick check. No, it doesn't look like it. We're the only uh, person that we know. I don't know enough people in this community yet, man. Like, I know a lot of people. But, like, mostly Draft League players. Not really the Showdown scene. Uh, I know a few people that play Showdown, obviously. Because uh, I've been doing it for nine months. But, 
Yeah, nobody I uh, know here. Anyway, guys, uh, that's gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna do be doing a few more of these episodes of this specific uh, metagame, which is really cool. Uh, you're not gonna really. Oh, actually, you know what? At the beginning of the title, um, you should see it on this title as well. I'm gonna put MOTM, which means metagame of the month. Um, and I'm gonna title it like metagame of the month one and short phrase after. Uh, because the thumbnails are all gonna look the same. I'm not gonna make a new thumbnail for just a metagame of the month. I never did that when I had my old thumbnails in Gen 6. So, uh, you guys are gonna be able to distinguish this by the title. So if you see MOTM in the, uh, at the beginning of the title, you know it's a metagame of the month. You know it's this series. We're gonna be coming up with different teams. That was really just like a super OP team. Excuse me, but I'm gonna be coming up with different ideas, different mons. I'm gonna be experimenting with stuff, see how it works. So, uh, I mean, it's a really cool tier. It's it's kind of busted. <laughs> like things are way too strong. I don't even think you have time to like set up stealth rocks. I don't know why I had stealth rocks on uh, Hippo, but it just makes sense. You know, it's a standard set. But anyway, that's gonna be it. If you did enjoy, uh, make sure to leave a like down below, guys. As always, uh, leave a comment for me. Let me know what you think of uh, of this specific series of this metagame, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.